turns out I'm really bad at doing reading vlogs. Hello everyone and happy July. It's currently July 1st when I'm filming this and this is the first day of the reading vlog that you're currently watching and also the first day of the Carol 2020 readathon. I was gonna start by reading Carol but I didn't manage to finish Into the Crooked Place last night. I tried but I was so tired so I fell asleep and I had about like 120 pages left of the book. So I actually did manage to finish it this morning when I was eating my breakfast. I finished this one and I... That ending was intense. I'm so excited and so annoyed that I have to wait until like March to get the second book. But that being said, I gave this book 4.5 stars. I kind of want to give it 5 stars, but it wasn't that magical. Although the story did like grip me and the magic in this book was insane. Um, it was a bit slow in the beginning. That being said, when I say it was slow, um, I got into the book like 40 pages in and maybe I'm just too demanding of a reader that I want a book to like hook me from the first page. I think that was also why um, I decided to give it 4.5 stars and not 5 stars. But honestly, I 100% recommend this book for anyone who loves fantasy and magic. Like the magic system in this book was just brilliant. And also, if you're a fan of slow burn romance, this is the book for you, okay? I cannot, I cannot tell you how like agonizing it was. My heart literally just like was squeezed into this mess and I just can't help it. In this book we meet four people, like four main characters, and that's Tavia, Wesley, Saxony, and Kara. Kara? Yes, Kara. All of the four people live in Kraj and they all have their own goals and they kind of have to work together to be able to reach their goals. Wesley wants to rule all of Kraj and take care of his city that he kind of rules. Tavia works for Wesley and she sells magic on the streets of Kraj for Wesley. Her goal is to escape the city. And then we have Saxony who kind of also works for Wesley I guess and her goal is to get revenge for her family. And then we have Karam who is kind of Wesley's main guard, personal guard. Uh, she also fights. Her goal is kind of also to revenge her family in a way I suppose but I won't tell you much more about that because I don't spoil you and I want you to get into this world just by opening the book and read it. There's a slow boy romance in this that you will love. Like, if you like the slow burn romance in Six of Crows, you will love the slow burn romance in this one. It's just... I am probably gonna start Carol later today. I will update you guys. I do have a couple of the things that I need to get done today. I need to plan my bullet journal for July. I know I'm a bit late for that. I also kind of want to start a reading journal. I feel like me doing a proper readathon in July is kind of the perfect start for it. So I'll do that and then I have a couple of other small things that I need to get done. But I'll probably pick up Carol later on in the afternoon or this evening. But we shall see and I will update you guys when I start it and my thoughts and everything, obviously. First of all, before I update you guys, it's currently Thursday, um, July 2nd. I reacted to the cover reveal um, yesterday of Chain of Iron. At the beginning, I wasn't entirely sure about the colours. I do think I like it though, like the colour scheme. Apparently it takes place during winter, so the blue makes sense. And the yellow kind of fits nicely with the blue. That being said, that moth, is it a moth? Or was it like another type of insect? I think it's a moth, like a deadly moth or something. I think that's what Cassandra Clare said. It takes up so much space. Like, it kind of takes Lucy's, like Lucy is the main focus. But then that tiny, or not tiny, it's massive. That massive insect just takes up too much space. And like, 
why couldn't they just let Lucy be the main focus? You know? Instead, they had to put this giant moth in. I get what they're trying to do, but they should have just kept the smaller moths, like along her hair, like they did with the leaves on Cordelia's hair in Chain of Gold. It just, it's in the way. It's. It loses focus on the beauty that is Lucy, I think, personally. Anyway, moving forward. I did actually start Carol yesterday evening. I was watching a football match that lasted until like 11, so I didn't actually get to read that much. But I'm currently on page 53, so I did get somewhere. So far, I am enjoying it a lot. I can understand why people enjoy it so much. Like, it's been good from the beginning, which is what I love about a book. Normally, I'm very quick to give up on stories if I don't enjoy it, like in the first 50 pages. Which is not probably a good trait to have, but uh, it is what it is. That being said, I am really enjoying it. I like Julian. And I'm not sure how big of a role he's going to play in the rest. I will up to you guys later if I remember. Honestly, I am going to forget, but who knows. It's currently quarter past nine. I have not read anything else since I lost both of you guys. But what I have done is I've started a reading journal um, and I thought I would show you what I've done. Uh, it's mostly inspired by uh, Chloe from Books with Chloe and Chloe from Journal with Chloe. It's the same person, but she has two different channels. I think she has three different channels. But anyway, it's mostly inspired by her and the way she set her journal up. But I did also watch Mel from The Bookish Mel. I did also watch her video. Um, well, she has a couple, but I watched her video yesterday of her July TBR. And at the end of it, she did a bit of journaling. I was like, you know what? This has inspired me and I want to do my own thing. So I finally did it. I'm not entirely done with like the basics of the journal. I am partly done with like my July um my July thing. Uh the cover page I'm not entirely happy with. It's not done and useless at the moment. Not that the cover page was meant to be useful. I've used this uh large term um notebook with dotted pages. This is basically the thing for July um, I looked up actually the font that's used on the cover of this book because I really like it and I wanted to do that so um, I basically just searched that up on Google and I found it and then I tried to replicate that font on the cover. I'm not entirely happy with how this turned out but yeah I'm also thinking about drawing something on this page or like writing a quote and putting something else here because it's kind of empty at the moment and then when you turn the page you've got Carol here read it on and then I took this black uh, paper and put that in here and then I wrote on it as you can see uh, my role which is kind of uh, it's not straight and I'm not happy about that I'm like, I kind of like the look of this, but I'm also not entirely happy about it, but it is what it is. Um, and then on the next two pages, I'm actually so happy with the font on this one. I don't even ask how long I used to do that, but it's kind of annoying because I didn't have enough space on the paper. So like, I did this. I kind of wish I didn't draw on the page here because it would have been enough with just that. So these are like days red, so I'm going to colour in the days that I'm actually reading. Um, and then on this side, I have favourite quotes of the month. I'm probably just going to write my favourite quotes to the far right. And yeah, that's basically it.
I was meant to do like this reading walk from Wednesday to Wednesday, so like seven days. Turns out I'm really bad at doing reading walks. I don't understand how people do them. I forget to update you on how the reading is going because I'm just sat there reading the book and I'm too like invested in the book to actually update you. <laughs> Also, to be fair, this week I have been on a mini holiday, as you've seen from the photo clips that I've shown you, which meant that it was kind of awkward to vlog um, and kind of difficult as well, as we weren't really... I didn't really have much time to read, except for in the evenings, and it was too dark in the hotel that we stayed in to film, and yeah. Anyway, enough with the excuses. What I was wanting to update you guys on is that I did finish Carol, and it felt weird to not put this part in the vlog and just finish it off with me being somewhere random. I finished it Wednesday evening. I stayed up until half 12 to finish it and I'm in shock. I'm still in shock. I, I kind of don't have words to describe how good this book was. Please excuse my neighbor who decided to cut their grass right now, but hopefully this clip will be fine anyway. I've heard so many great things about Carol before I decided to pick up the book, but never in my wildest dreams did I imagine to dive into this magical and wonderful world that Garber has created. Like, it's so full of surprises and plot twists and romance and like, the most magical schemes and unreal things that are happening in this game. Basically, Carol is a game that peop you can either play or observe. And like, as I continued to read and as the game started, I tried to like figure out who you could trust and who you couldn't trust and like what was real and wasn't. But at one point I kind of just like, I was so lost, I did not know what was real, what was part of the game and what wasn't part of the game and like who to trust. Garber definitely tried to play mind tricks on us, trying to get us to like someone but then made that person untrustworthy. All of that and then in the end when you actually got to see everyone's true colours was just, it was mind blowing and I'm still sat here in shock. Um, I honestly don't even know what to do with myself. <laughs> As I was reading, I did message uh, the bookish Mel, Melanie, because she has read it and she was like, I'd say 95% of the reason to why I picked up this book. And I messaged her throughout reading it, trying to, telling her like my theories and what I thought was going on and who I could trust and who couldn't be trusted and all like what my thoughts were and what I thought would happen. And she was just sat there like messaging like ha 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 I can't say anything but it's fun to read your theories. That being said, I did kind of not fully but I I was on the right track. I feel like right? <laughs> I don't wanna spoil anyone and I don't wanna reveal more than I should because honestly going into this book almost blind is I think the perfect way to read it. So for anyone who's in doubt and has this book on their bookshelf, please pick it up because I cannot, I cannot recommend this book enough. I think it's like, it's definitely one of my favorites of the year. It's honestly probably one of my favorite books like ever. Yeah, I, I wanted to give it 4.5 stars, but I like tried to convince myself to give it 4.5 stars, but it just didn't work. Like I came up with so many useless and pointless points as to why I would give this book a 4.5 star rating so I did end up giving it a 5 star rating. It already started legendary on my kindle because I the book hasn't arrived yet and I couldn't wait any longer so I did end up downloading it on my kindle which I've already started. I started it yesterday so I will update you guys on that one in my next reading vlog for the next 7 days or who knows. What I'm gonna do with that. But that being said, I just wanted to tell you that I finished Caraval for this part of the vlog to kind of wrap everything up. So I did manage to read two books in this vlog, which I'm kind of happy about, even though the first one 
I'd kind of read mostly in June, but I'm counting it in July because I did finish it on July 1st. So yeah, please do follow me on my bookstore account. It's this one at Bookamanda. I do post regularly on there, not every day, but almost every day. And I do post my stories to keep you guys updated with my reading progress. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know if this reading vlog wasn't too messy because I feel like it was a bit messy. I, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to make it better for next week, but we shall see. <laughs> Goodbye.